Hey there, my name is Haley and I'm one of the second year graduate students at ETSU. And today, my video is for the parents and caregivers out there who have children who are working on increasing their language. So whether that be through words, vocalizations, gestures, signs, or with a communication device, this video is for you. And we're going to teach you, well, I'm going to teach you, um, a tool that your child's SLP uses every day, I guarantee, and it's one of the tools in our toolbox that we are constantly pulling. So this strategy is called sabotage and we also sometimes call it communication temptations and I know it might sound kind of negative but it's actually a really fun simple easy trick to use to kind of encourage your child to use more language. So very very simply this is creating a problem for your child seeing how they communicate to fix it, waiting, pretending that you're not aware of the problem, and when they do try to fix it, being very animated and really giving them a lot of that positive feedback that they tried to communicate. If they're struggling a little bit, if it's still an early skill for them, we're going to do a lot of modeling. So this is, a, this is not a strategy that we would use all day, every day. This is just something that we sprinkle in um, because we want it to be fun. We don't want it to become a really negative experience for the kids. So I'm going to give you an example. So let's say a child asks for a pretzel and I have this container full of pretzels. The child says pretzels. Give them one pretzel and I'm going to close it back up and just wait. Obviously they're going to gobble up that pretzel and want more. So what we want to do is we want to wait and see how they communicate for more. We're just going to wait. Maybe they start to whine. I'll say, you asked for pretzels. I gave you a pretzel. And then once they say more pretzels, oh, you want more pretzels. Thank you for telling me. And just kind of following that very simple, create a problem, pretend that you don't know that there's a problem, Wait and see if your child communicates to fix it. And it's going to be really animated. It's going to be really silly. It's going to be really fun. So it's it's simple. It's fun. You don't need materials. You can just do it throughout the day. So I'm going to kind of go through some pitfalls that the strategy can have and some things that we want to avoid. And it's important to remember that this strategy is not withholding an item until you hear the exact right answer that you want. So it's not... Ask for more pretzels. Come on, use your words. Ask for more pretzels. It's just encouraging it more. And it's not a drill to find out what your child can and can't do. So this is why we don't use it all day, every day. We don't use it for every single bite of food at breakfast. We don't use it for every single toy they ask for. It's just, like I said earlier, sprinkling it throughout the day. Again, we're not looking for the absolute perfect answer because we want to keep using this strategy as the child's in speech therapy. Because as you can imagine, if you're not getting what you want, you're gonna get frustrated. So we wanna kind of reduce that frustration, but really encourage them to use their language more. Um, and we don't use this for words, gestures, signs, anything that your child has never used before. Because we can't withhold things from them and tease them if they don't even know the word for more. So this is also a good way to teach and model new strategies. So that's what the strategy is not. So another really great thing about the strategy is that we can use it with older kids and younger kids. And like I said before, I'm gonna attach a picture that has some great strategies, but I'll also walk you through a couple examples. So for younger kids, if your child requests a drink, give them the cup without the liquid in it, without whatever liquid they asked for, and see how they work to communicate to fix it and get the drink that they want. You could also do this while you're reading books and not the whole time you're reading books. Again, this isn't a drill. This is something we sprinkle in. So say we're reading a book and you see a picture of a dog. You can say, look at that cat. And just wait and see if your child makes an attempt to correct it um, and communicate. For older kids, what we can do is we can work together to follow a recipe and follow the recipe very literally and see how it goes. So let's say it says, put the eggs in the bowl. Typically, as we know, that means cracking the egg, putting it in. What I want you to try is just taking the egg, putting it in the bowl, and seeing how your child works to communicate that that wasn't the right thing to do, here's how we can fix it. 
You can also play a game and not follow the rules and see if your child works to fix it and make sure you're following the rules the right way. So these are just a few of the many ways to incorporate this strategy into your daily life. And like I said, I'm going to attach an image that has some really great strategies that you can refer to. If you have any questions about this strategy, please leave a comment. I'll be monitoring this video and we'd be happy to answer any questions. And if I don't know the answer, I'll refer it to somebody that does know. And um, I also encourage you to try this strategy sometime today and let me know how it goes. Um, this is, like I said, this is really great to work on if your child has expressive language goals, goals for expanding their speech, or using more words. Let me know how it goes. I can't wait to see.